Tonight, voters in Temecula are deciding whether or not to recall the controversial president of the city school board, Joseph Komroski. Komroski's time in office has been filled with constant battles over LGBTQ plus issues. He has supporters, but also lots of criti critics. That's right. KCAL News political reporter Tom Wade here now with the latest results from the vote. Tom? And Susie and Chauncey, we've seen some of these uh, school board meetings sure. really descend into chaos. A lot of controversy there, right? So, yeah, this is being very close closely watched across the state and across the nation. A possible test of whether newly elected conservative school board members can withstand a crush of criticism for the changes they've tried to impose since taking office, including parental notification rules, pride flags, and book bans. Okay, let's take a look at some of these results so far. This is what we have at this point in the evening. The yes votes to recall Mr. Komorowski right now stand at about 56%. The no votes around 44%. This is about a third of the votes that have been counted so far. You can see about 800 votes separate the yes and no votes. Again, about a third counted so far. So these are definitely not the final results. So a little background here. Komorowski was recently elected along with two other conservative school board members there in Temecula. Their campaigns were funded in part through PAC money controlled by a conservative local pastor. Kamrowski is the only one of those three facing a recall vote. Governor Newsom and State Attorney General Rob Bonta threatened to sue the district after Kamrowski and the other two conservatives tried to remove a textbook that included Harvey Milk, the uh, gay icon and civil rights leader. Conservatives ultimately caved, though, and the board voted to approve that curriculum. A short time ago, I spoke with the head of the teachers union in Temecula. Take a listen. We're definitely positive with the outlook that we see right now. We have a, a good um, swath of the community, broad-based support. Uh, it's beyond political parties. It's about a community coming together to focus on the power of public education. And before we came on the air, I also reached out to Joseph Komrowski for comment from him. We have not heard back from him yet. If these yes votes do hold this lead, Komrowski will be immediately removed from the board once the votes are certified. Susie. All right, Tom, thank you so much.